Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. Let's take a look at your weekend messages, August 9th through the 11th. See what shows up for you, what's most important for the weekend for you to pay attention to. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And please do smash that like and subscribe button. All right, let's get into your messages here and see what shows up for you for this weekend. Does Virgo need to know? Pay attention to what will be significant. Okay. All right, Virgo. So we've got obstacles, karma, and mature woman. Okay. So starting with obstacles, there are some blocks on some pathways and some delays showing up here this weekend. All right, let's take a look. Now there might be like a boulder in the middle of the road. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> I'm not predicting that one's gonna fall on you, um, but you know, there's a lot of earthy activity going on right now. So if you live in an area where there's boulders, yeah, be careful, just pay attention to any signs or anything like that. Um, let's see, what are these blocks and delays? Uh, symbolically let's take a look um, some of you um, they're also saying there might be some traffic jams or delays over this weekend so if you have plans to go anywhere you could be stuck in traffic or uh, there might be like flight delays travel trip delays okay all right so symbolically there is some conflict happening Okay, which is causing uh, or is creating an obstacle over this weekend. There is this, so the five of wands can represent competition, rivalry. Uh, you might be in some kind of sport, doing some kind of sport this, this weekend, engaging in some kind of physical activity where, you know, the obstacle is the defense, that kind of thing. Maybe you're watching some kind of sport game on TV or something and your team doesn't do so well okay so there is some kind of challenge obstacle that's in the way some kind of it's conflict it feels like there's some conflict but it's it's not like severe it doesn't feel like it's severe conflict it's just more of an annoyance okay that I feel like you might experience over this weekend okay you have the hermit yeah and you have the chariot so you know virgo i just feel like there's a path ahead of you that you are traveling along whether that's literally or just figuratively and um even with the hermit i feel like you need to pause and kind of figure out what your game plan is going to be over this weekend. Like the hermit, even for you, because that's your card, the hermit is like screaming out here to go within, pause for a moment and think about something before you go. Okay. And if you get caught up in some kind of jam over this weekend, pause and think about what your next strategy is going to be so that you can have movement forward. Okay. Um, I feel like they're saying don't, don't fight, don't fight something, just back out, pause, don't argue, don't fight with others, don't cause any conflict, don't get caught up in any conflict over this weekend, just kind of keep to yourself in some ways so you can figure out, it's all about navigation is what I feel like is happening here. Asking yourself, how do I navigate through something, through this situation? Instead of getting like road rage or frustrated or flustered, how do I navigate this path that I want to go through. So you're being asked to take a pause and try to figure that out. Okay. Even if you're, even if you're going right along and everything seems fine and then you hit a snag. Yeah. The message here is try to navigate, figure out how you're going to deal with something before reacting or it, rather than forcing something through, come up with a strategy and a plan. Okay. So I'm just repeating myself. What else? Okay, there you go. Yeah, screaming out to me. Pause, 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 pause. Get a different perspective. 
Look at the alternative roots I'm hearing. Not roots, like plant roots. Routes, R-O-U-T-E-S. Look at your altern look at the alternative options. So because you know sometimes you we hit setbacks, you might hit a setback over this weekend. So I feel like don't quit, just find an alternative path. That's that's the biggest message here. So we do have Virgo here on the table. We do have Cancer energy and Pisces. So it could involve those signs as well. Is there anything else? There anything else Virgo needs to know? All right. Strategize. King of Swords. Be very strategic. It's kind of like, you know, why can't I pick this card up? Ah! How do I how do I maneuver? How do I get around this boulder? There's a huge obstacle in my way. How do I get around this? You can't smash a car into it. You can't force yourself. If you try to move, it's too big. It's too heavy of a task. Step back and figure figure something out. Okay? So that is the biggest message for this weekend. You might currently be experiencing a setback in a relationship or with a colleague or in your job or with a family member or a friend. Um, or you could be experiencing it over this weekend. It could be an air sign as well. But whatever the situation is, step back, pause, retreat, and figure out how you're going to get through something here. Okay, be very strategic in your menu, in your movement. Okay, so there's also karma. Let's see. It says toxic story, new opportunities. And let's see. Doors are opening here. There's a door shutting or a door opening. So there is karma. Karma's playing out over this weekend. Let's see. Let's tell the Virgo more about what's going on here. Ooh. Eight of Swords. A little more information. Oh, wow. So freedom. Freedom from being restricted or trapped. Okay. These cards are like so huge. Um, hmm. I want to also say, even though when I call out you, saying you, also keep in mind the roles can be reversed. It could be somebody else having these obstacles or this karma. Could, we could be talking about someone else who's trying to strategically work around some kind of obstacle as well. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, right? So with that being said, there is somebody is trying to free themselves from a very restricted environment or will be set free. So I feel like, wow, okay. They're saying in some kind of a relationship, you are free over this weekend or you may come to realize this or you may feel it over this weekend karma comes in somebody is watching you be happy free the fool energy you're on a new path a new adventure you have your hope back and i feel like somebody is is getting their karma somebody might have felt like okay you got someone here who's kind of spying on you over this weekend and this person is looking to see if you are down and out or if you just like i don't i don't care they're they're looking for a sign that's what, this is the message that's coming up to me um someone's looking to see if you are like suffering they're looking to see if you're suffering okay or if you're in this fool energy, like you're just, you're free, careless, carefree. You're just like not, like they're looking to see. Okay, that's kind of a creepy ass message. Somebody may be trying to give you some karma or hoping you get your karma. And it looks like you are, well, it doesn't really say. They're looking to see if you're getting like how things are going for you, the checking in, I'm hearing, checking in to see how things are going for you. 
there but there's a little bit of confusion because they don't know if you're suffering or if you're happy hmm. could be an aquarius what else oh yeah look at that there's the tower uh, somebody's trying to find out if your world's falling apart or if you just you're just out you don't care they're trying to find out if you're sad if you're grieving or if you have your blessings wow okay so somebody's gosh so this could be a bunch of naysayers a bunch of gossipers could be people who are talking you know some ish about you you know it's drama filled trying to see if um just being nosy nellies is what i'm hearing whether it could be one person or it could be a bunch of people um trying to find out are you like cra are you gonna crash and burn they don't somebody does not know how you are doing and they don't know how you're feeling okay um it could be a scorpio there's the tower tower is actually i think it's more like mars energy so it could also be an aries but yeah they, they're looking to see that somebody's spying they're looking to see if you're going to crash and burn or if you are not and there's no information which is why they're seeking they're very curious they're looking for a sign yep they're looking for a sign they're looking for you to show them something something real <laughs> this is so weird and it has something to do with a toxic kind of situation you know um if you're suffering from a toxic situation here or if you have your new opportunities right here's new opportunities love uh money finance yeah so maybe somebody was trying to put some karma on you or like i'm not even sure if i'm saying that right if that's even possible or they were hoping that you were going to get yours Or if you, I don't know if they're hope. They're, I, I don't feel like they're hoping you're going to suffer, but they want to see something. They want to know. There's somebody who's very curious. That page of swords is very curious, spying, prying eyes, seeking some kind of truth over this weekend. Okay. Wow. All right. So there you go. There's a message there. Like Virgo's like, I don't give a shit. Right? Um. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, people who are a person or people who might seem to be your friend um, or care about you. I don't know. I, it's hard to say. Like, I don't mean I don't know because I don't know if it's not so much they want to see you suffer or they want to see you happy. It's more so they're looking to see where you're at with things. If you're getting your karma, that's the message and, you know, I just feel like if, if there's people in your life who are not really healthy, if they're toxic, I hate using that word, but that's what it says on the card, then it, it's nobody's business how you're feeling, whether you're happy or sad, right? Okay. So now you also have a mature woman showing up. This is a socialite, a connector, uh, somebody, somebody who's very, very social, um, high society yeah they could be you know that type of a person it could this could be you as well let me take a look okay justice some of you gonna be talking with a lawyer over this weekend or someone that's in the legal field let's see what else oh wow i was thinking of the queen of swords maybe you're a lawyer right there's communication coming in over this weekend with someone. Okay. Somebody's helping you over this weekend. A mature woman is helping you over this weekend to deal with a very burdensome issue or problem. Or she's going to come in and tell you some things. She's going to give it to you straight about what your what you're, you're, you're legally, I'm hearing, allowed to do. Or she's gonna she's gonna help you legally it could be with your taxes you know the justice uh, this could be a Libra but she's gonna come in and offer solutions for a win-win situation okay and she's gonna tell you straight 
what your rights are, what you can do, how you can handle a situation to be fair, okay? She's very significant over this weekend. Maybe there's a divorce. Okay. Let's see. Nine of Cups. Ooh. For some of you, for some of you, this is a love relationship. A uh, love proposal or offer comes in, okay? Um, and for others, this has something to do with... Hmm. For some of you, there's a D DUI or driving under the influence uh, connection here, okay, to a legal thing or a court thing. Yeah, so somebody might be getting an attorney or uh, you might be acting as an attorney to someone if that's your, your job. As far as the love thing goes, um, I do feel like It's interesting. There's two messages because I do feel like somebody's going to help you through some kind of divorce situation as well or be a mediator. But there's also the Queen of Cups. Uh, I'm hearing in, uh, infidelity. Yeah, this feels this feels very like they just they're pulling me in 10 different directions. Like it's hard for me to explain. So I, I get the, the biggest message is there's something here to do with divorce or infidelity or um, legal issues. OK. Somebody I feel like so they're saying someone here is still legally married and another person makes a proposal to another person while they're still legally married. And they can't, <laughs> I mean, legally, like you can't, you know, not in the United States, at least you can't be married to two people at the same time, legally. So there, there's something coming up with that. I want to just tell you that. Yeah, I do feel like, though, there is something else here where somebody's got, okay, a dating coach. What the F is a dating coach? A matchmaker either is requiring, uh, aqu acquiring a matchmaker or is becoming one to help people meet each other. That's interesting. You know, I guess they used to have that. Like there used to be way back in the day, actual matchmakers where people would set something up They'd have like a whole list of profiles and everything, and they'd interview people um, to put them on like a roster and then match make people. Today, it's just do it yourself dating on, you know, dating sites and stuff. But there used to be people who actually did that for a living, a matchmaker service. I, I don't know. Maybe they still have them out there. I don't know. But. These old time matchmakers would actually meet up with the person who wanted to be on the list and they would like interview them and they would be personal and they could vouch for them. Whereas like online, there's so many fake profiles and so much BS online, you know, I feel like somebody might actually start doing that for a job, <laughs> maybe a career and discovering like, it could be you and discovering like, what are the legalities to all this? What are the burdens to all this? Um, putting in the hard work and the effort. That's so funny because it's kind of like maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, like a career thing. Matching people up. Uh, Lord, you know, I feel like a lot of people would really want to do that. You know, because it's just there's so much crazy out there in the world and you just don't know. I mean, I feel like everybody on a dating site is like either seeking money for SEX or they're trying to sell you something or they're predators. It's it's the exception to the rule. There are people that do meet on dating sites and they actually hit it off and it turns into a good thing. But the majority is the opposite. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to knock the dating sites, but I don't think there's enough vetting on those sites because people, it's so easy. You don't have to meet up with anybody to, to be have an interview. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I just kind of like that idea. I like it a lot. I like this idea a lot. So you might get matched up with someone or you might get into that business or like bring that back up again. 
and it, like revive that type of lifestyle career maybe they have it out there and i don't know i don't seek that stuff but maybe it's out there anything else yeah that's what i'm saying oh my gosh that's what i'm saying four of wands damn there's so much some of you also might meet someone over this weekend like um a mature woman it could be a mature male at some kind of an event it could be a like a, a wedding event or maybe you meet someone while you're out there, there's definitely it, the term is matchmaking so either either way a match gets made okay or someone gets into a career of being a matchmaker <laughs> that's crazy i love these messages when they come out like this all right let's take a look and see oh my goodness okay what are the messages from the cosmic insights okay move on someone is unavailable and it's a waste of time it's over good move on virgo you have a lost loved one is watching over you at this time and yes luck is on your side that's awesome so there isn't there is definitely an energy of like moving on and you do have guidance so you're definitely going to be in a good position somebody's bringing a, a little angel into your life or has recently brought a little angel into your life you may find out that someone is also expecting a child it very well could be you or someone close to you and you have a date night that's coming up over this weekend or you might get asked out over this weekend or you might ask somebody out over this weekend okay anything else yep there's your spy yeah someone's got their eye on you definitely okay so yeah somebody's looking to see if you're gonna if you're getting your karma and you could be looking like i said could be reverse you could be the one doing it too um all right let's see what your messages so you know my weekend readings are generally just general general have a lot to do with a lot of different things let's see messages of love okay there's a rejection which is actually divine protection look i feel like the message here is if you've been rejected or if you've rejected somebody this is you're being protected like you got to look at it like not personalize it it's a good thing here's some obstacles again okay like i said unhealed wounds perhaps are blocking forward movement so that could be an actual uh unhealed wound issue that you're trying to navigate over this weekend and instead of reacting out of your unhealed wounds um take a pause and try to assess and then figure out how you would like to respond in a in a on, in a situation that might feel hurtful or that you feel like you can't get through so never react just respond right i know nobody's perfect and everybody has moments where they become reactive it happens but you want to try to focus more on responding and, and in order to do that you got to pause there's a reason why the boulder's in the way <laughs> the reason is like you know it's like when you're in tra in in traffic or when you're praying for patience and god gives you a traffic jam he's he's like here you go you ask for patience here you go let's see how you do <laughs> now i don't think god tests people but you know that's just just a little funny thing okay you have a past life love situation here that might be on your mind over this weekend that you might be awakening or there's a past life love situation um where one person or two people are awakening and transforming and i'm hearing trust in the process this weekend trust the process this weekend whatever you're going through you know it's meant to be it's meant to be happening seek out some forgiveness or think about if you want to be able to forgive someone you also have weight the timing's not quite right but there is a friendship that could be leading to more okay there you go you're protected you're safe and divinely guided so trusting the process is pretty much trusting the divine the path you're on is the path you're supposed to be on right now and the same for everybody else and if anybody's trying to find out if you're suffering or trying to figure out what's going on 
Uh, there's an old saying, don't let anybody see you sweat. Don't be bothered. It's nobody's business. Anybody who who is that nosy or needs to be in your business and not be in your life as a friend, tell them to take a hike. It's none ya. None ya biz. None ya biz. All right, let's see. I'm hearing stay private this weekend, too. All right, so you have renewal. Okay, this message here is reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. And what else does we going to need to hear? Okay. So you've got the Nine of Swords. Um, there may be some unfounded fears. You might be expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies. You know, what we think is what we bring about. Okay, allow if you're allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation, you're going to have sleepless nights. You need to refocus your thoughts. Okay. Don't let fear get the best of you. Just refocus your thoughts on positive things. Things that make you go, mmm. And you have the Ten of Wands. You might be working too hard or too many hours. You have a need for balance in life. Let others help you. Watch out for health problems due to stress. Stress can make your physical self very ill. Or put pressure on your body. A nice bath. I'm hearing like a lavender bath. Might be good. And you also have the High Priestess. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. Okay, so yeah. I feel like there might be a lot of stress. You need to renew yourself over this weekend. Obviously, we're in the Mercury retrograde, so it's time for a pause. Um, renew yourself to get some sense of peace. Also, to get some sleep. Try to find some relaxation, whatever gives you relaxation. Some, for some Virgos, relaxation comes in the form of cleaning right now there are people who say that that is a trauma response well, i don't know i must have a shit ton of trauma because my house is very clean <laughs> but cleaning can help you focus it definitely can right so you know when you're doing the dishes or when you're vacuuming i don't know it's just something for virgos it's when they get things in order they feel a sense of peace and so if you've got a junk drawer over this weekend that needs to be sorted out and, ca and like, um, I want to say categorized or, or cleaned out, work on your junk drawer. If you get a pile of bills that you need to go through, a true Virgo always has a mess. They have to because they need to put things in order, okay? Anyone who says Virgos are, are neat and clean 24-7, Virgos would just die if shit was all together all the time because then they can't organize things. Vir Virgos need to organize things. And sometimes Virgos will like say three months ago, organize their sock drawer, and then they'll go back in and reorganize it because they want to find a new way to improve, <laughs> you know, or they'll, they'll take Virgos. Sometimes if things are working, Virgos will take things apart just to rework them and make and improve them or make them better in some way. That's not, there's nothing wrong with you. If you feel like, why do I keep doing this? A lot of Virgos rearrange their furniture, their homes. You know, it's, there's just this need, Virgos like to organize and put things and improve and make things better. Some Virgos are very creative. They like to create things, you know, it gives them a sense of, um, I don't know, just like peace, it gives them a sense of peace, you know, um, even like, even if your car is super, super clean, uh, you might want to go into your car this weekend and and you know maybe do something different maybe get a new steering wheel cover or you know maybe go get your car waxed i feel like the message here i don't know where this is coming from but i feel like dive into a project this weekend some kind of project i don't know organize your spoons and your silverware drawer i don't know do something um 
face all your cabinets <laughs> I, I don't know do something with your plants start a garden or you know it, it's just yeah that's just what i was feeling okay is there any message any other message here all right and you have the eight of swords okay the illusion of entrapment you might have a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless you might be afraid to take action but you're being asked to take responsibility for your life right now okay what i the message i'm hearing is what there's an old saying the serenity prayer god grant me the serenity accept the things i cannot change grant me the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference so the question is what can you do and what can't you do sort those out if you need to organize and sort maybe sort those things out what are you able to fix and make better in your life and work on those things anything else is that energy where you got to be like you know what i can't change that i can't it's raining out i can't do anything about that but i can push i can put my plants out to get rain you know that's you have control of that right so there is an energy here of like seeking courage to change the things you can and having the wisdom to know the difference between what you can and can't change okay which will help you let go i guess if you need to there's something here that you feel like you need to let go of all right what other messages does virgo need all right let's just add some island time messages to see what else might be showing up here okay there's addiction all right this might be part of your unhealed wounds to take a look at over this weekend codependency obsession position controlling having that block restraint that might be the block okay that needs to something you might need to pay attention to over this weekend or it might not be in you it could be within another person you also have heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together so you may have um, a get together over this weekend um, um, hearing a housewarming party perhaps or planning one Oh, look, dragonfly, being lighthearted, finding things out. Some things are going to come to light over this weekend. Will you, you will be able to adapt, change, and heal. Hmm. Definitely an awakening of some, some sort. Okay. And for some of you, an ending will bring new beginnings. There's growth, change, liberation, and transition. So this is the death card, right? So... There's big changes up ahead for you in your life, Virgo, especially starting over this weekend. For some of you, it's just time for you to move on. You need to move on. Break those chains, cut the cord, um, and then you can experience your rebirth and your transformation. Some of you just need to put something to rest. Okay, not literally, just figuratively. Right, so you can heal your heart heal from a breakup freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction right toxic relationship a toxic story and um do it heal with people who are going to keep your privacy keep those things sacred and who are going to support you right i don't feel like there's a need to advertise your pain for the entire world Okay, and, and I feel like with that initial karma message that somebody's, you got to be careful with who you share things with because some people want to see you suffer, you know, um, because it makes them feel, and, the, and toxic people, because it makes them feel better about themselves okay if you're if you if you have toxic people um even if you're putting something out there that's like i'm fine i'm good life is great they're gonna think toxic people have this warped sense in their brain so if you put it out there that you're doing great they're gonna they won't believe it they're gonna think that you're doing great because of them <laughs> and if you're sad and hurt they're gonna think that you're sad and hurt because of them right don't give anybody any reasons to think anything you do in life has anything to do with anybody else it's all about you between you and your god right 
So, biggest message going on there. Big time. All right, let's see. So you've got Scorpio here, double Sag, and a Capricorn. Significant to you over this weekend, or, well, currently into the weekend. All right, so September 7th, birthday. September 10th. Um, August 24th. September 14th. August 25th. Okay. Let's see. Any more September birthday? Let's see anything. Okay, we have 65, 69, 34, 84, 35, 40, 49, 53, 90, 75, August 31st again. Oh, September 3rd and September 6th. Okay. Some of you might feel like a cog in the damn wheel. You're trying not to be a cog in the wheel. Part of a harem. Just like everybody else. Some of you are just breaking free. You don't want to be another cog in a wheel, I'm hearing. On a roster. Um, the name JT. Okay. We have John. But it's spelled like J-A-H-N. John. <laughs> ja. J-A-H. Um... SA. SA. Very significant for some of you. I'm not going to say the word, but definitely something there with that word. Um, okay. We have Nate. Picking up Nate or Natalie. Significant. January and April. Jan month of January, month of April. Could be somebody's birthdays. We have Taz. Yes, Taz. Okay, somebody, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> uh, oh, somebody's in New Jersey. Ash, Ashley, Ash. Yep, somebody's a ass hat. <laughs> somebody's a thatched roof. Okay, um, there's a, somebody's in a chat right now. Well, obviously, all you guys listening to this live are in a chat. Hey. <laughs> Naz, N-A-S, Naz. Uh, are you going to be chatting with some people? Uh, we have Joseph, Joan, Nay, Renee, or Nay. Okay. Um, so, okay, somebody might be, oh, they're telling me catch, catcher or catch, something to do with catching a ball or being a great catch. Somebody might tell you you're a great catch. <laughs> Why am I laughing? It's like, what? Uh, somebody's having some ketchup, putting some ketchup on their hot dog or a burger. All right, let's see if we can come up with some. Mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Oh, I just heard Ethan. They just said Ethan. Someone's in Connecticut. Okay. Uh, Nebraska. Um, uh, there's Oklahoma. Someone's in Texas. Uh, someone's in New Orleans. New Orleans. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's leave that there and get some charms. <laughs> and if you guys could put, please put a like on the video, that would make me very happy. And also so we can get the algorithm because my weekend readings are kind of, I don't know, they don't get a lot of... Okay, we've got... You've got, all right, so you've got a heartbreak here, okay? There's a, a sense of, like, two people. Oh, somebody's missing or somebody's gone. Somebody's missing or somebody's gone. So there's a sense of loss or a feeling of loss. However, 
there's also two swans. I feel like there's something here about, you know, love. If you're feeling like there's a part of your heart is missing or there's a sense of like lost love or you lost your other half. There's something here about they're telling me focus on the love of family, friends. I mean, I'm sure you already do that anyway, but there's also the biggest message is a, a pet loves you very much. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not the same as a romantic love or a long lost love, but like right now my dog is scratching to get in because <laughs> he misses me. Maybe it's him. Maybe it's him that's having the problem. Come on. No, you just sit here. Just sit here. All right, you guys. <laughs> Something here about a, a, a. Some of you might have lost a pet and you're grieving that over this weekend. If that's the case, I'm very, very sorry. Some of you might just be a lizard. <laughs> Maybe you have um, like a reptile as a pet and you lost your pet. All right, there isn't a, there, the music is going to be significant over this weekend, okay, for some of you. There's something here about music being very, very, very important that I feel like um, it is going to have a significant impact on you this weekend. You know, music changes the brain waves. Did you know that? Because the brain is, pla the plasticity of the brain, when you listen to, to uplifting music, it actually changes your brain waves increases your dopamine like receptors or something whatever that is i'm not I'm not a scientist i don't know but it increases your mood if you listen to uplift like if you listen to angry music right there you go if you listen to don't listen to sad music if you listen to upload uplifting music for a, a a length of time that that you just keep doing that it can lift you out of negative thoughts and thoughts affect your affect your emotions, which affect your actions, right? If you, I feel like there's a message here about making like a playlist. If you don't do this, you, some of you might already do this, but make some kind of playlist that has like all these uplifting songs, whatever you like, whatever works for you, uplifting, not so much anger, um, but more like powerful uplifting music. And, and make a point to try to listen to that once a day, your playlist, whether you're working out or you're just walking or you're just laying in bed, uplifting music can actually increase your positive brain waves and change, it changes the neural pathways in your brain. I mean, yeah, that's true, it is true. All right, I think we're gonna end there. I think that was plenty. So again, if you wanna get a personal reading, yep, go ahead and click the link to get that. Thanks everybody for being here and being in the chat. And yeah, I will see you guys all back here on Sunday. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to go to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I upload collective readings over there. And uh, thank you for everyone becoming a member. Grateful for that. And don't forget if you have any ideas for tier two perks, that I'm going to add to my channel for the membership. Feel free to email me, reach out to me, let me know what your thoughts are about that. All right, you guys, love you, and I will see you back here on Sunday. Take care. <laughs>